Hello and welcome back everybody to another episode of your Salt Lake City Eatles franchise here. Just before the deadline in year four and we have finally had enough. We are saying goodbye to Tristan Baker. This man has not got it done with the Eagles. We have the roster. He just can't put things together for some reason. And we gotta find a new man to take the helm. Yes, his win-loss record is better, technically, but he just cannot get this room going. So, after three and a half years, well, four and a half, we'll say, it is time to say goodbye to Tristan Baker, and we wish him luck. But he was just not the man to get things done. So, Farmer will be the interim head coach and see how the Eagles can perform with him behind the bench for the first time. See if he can lead the Eagles to a decent run to the year. I don't think we're making the playoffs, so we will unload some players at the deadline here. Not going to be a huge fire sale. So we feel like there's just a couple pieces that need to click here on this team. Crosby's on the trade block, but we're not going to be buying. Brett Pesci, he's getting older. He's a free agent next year. There are some offers on the table for him. Mostly some main third round picks. Some younger players that haven't reached potential yet, but... I prefer to shed salary and get some picks out of them. Not making a trade for a John Carlson. Edmonton, they are in our division. But I feel like the Oilers are closer to a cup and we can get some prospects back. I'm going to make that deal. Then you got Fabian Widener. A young Swede there, six round pick. Kind of reminds me of a Niels Hodlander. I feel like he could crack the squad, and for Ilya Mikheyev, we'll take him in the sixth round pick. Another salary cut and move here. Mikheyev, a free agent. We're not going to bring him back. And Widener, he is having a solid year in the AHL, so he could help out with the Montana Bulldogs Calder playoff run. I'm happy making this deal. It makes sense. And hopefully he can possibly be a third, fourth liner. For us in a couple of years so we'll do that then you got two snets off we're going to get rid of that has no longer worked out we do have a trade offer on the table uh, and it does not want to go through for some reason we tried but Panthers as you'll see here for some reason they even offered us this deal and they say no because they'll have to put Billy Huso on waivers. They don't want to say yes to this deal. So, we look around here. See what else we could get for Kuznetsov. We got a fourth and a fifth. We're just going to have to say yes. Get rid of his contract. And Max Pacioretty. Uh, is going to probably be the final deal we're going to make here. There's a couple of young players. Not the... Forward Elias Pedersen, the defenseman, Josh Blom, Thibodeau. We were interested to see what Thibodeau should be, but 21 years old, not fully scouted yet. Was a second round pick in 2024. Center sniper, uh, possibly, but I would like a young defenseman. He's only got 18 points in the AHL right now. He's still trying to find his groove. Don't think it's going to be the best fit for us because we like our forward prospect group right now. Almost on the rise. Uh, so, we're going to try and get Sawyer Minow. The next Chris Tanev in the NHL here. So, looking at the deadline moves here. Some names do raise some eyebrows here. Owen Tippett goes to Vegas. Adam Larson goes to Carolina. Dante Fabro for Brendan Gallagher. Sanheim goes to Carolina. Billy Huso goes to Florida for Cody Glass. Mikko Rantanen. Oh my goodness. Goes to Nashville. Alex Ovechkin gets traded to New Jersey at the deadline. 
Ovechkin era is over in Washington. Man, oh man, Sam Bennett to New Jersey. And we traded Brett Pesci to Edmonton. Islanders get Peter Mrazek. Alright, so some big moves out there. See what will pay off for teams. And we got Jeremy Swayman in the Blackhawks here. And our new interim coach, his first game. So see if we can win one for him. Kershev gets one on Dustin Wolf. Second period. 2-1. Tavish gets a goal. Nothing else happening here. Often still dry for some reason. But this top six, for whatever reason, they're not putting it together. Try and add another stud, possibly. But Forslin ties it up on the power play. Had a boy, Forslin. Former late round draft pick. A bit of a steal there. Another gem given up way too early by Trader Jim. So overtime action and we'll let commentary take things away here, people. Man, I feel like Chicago just keeps on beating us in overtime. All right, now we got Buffalo. Let's try and get one win here for the new interim coach, Home Ice. First period, down 2 nothing early. Jack Quinn, Owen Power on Cajun. Oof. Second period, 3 nothing. Ah, uh, not great. Not good, not good. 4 nothing. Come on, get a goal. Someone get a goal. Come back attempt, please. Someone do something. No. 5 nothing. Every time I say goal, it seems like Buffalo's going to score. Oh, this is ugly. Ugly, ugly, ugly. 6 nothing now. Yeah, I think the Eagles... Definitely missing the playoffs. Not great. Six nothing loss. Ouch. So one point out of four. Mason McTavish. He's going to be injured for a concussion. But he's back in the lineup now. And looking at our lineup here with all the trades we've made. This is how we're going to end the year. McTavish be second line center. Possibly first line next year. And there are some players here that we want to scout a little bit further out. This will probably be a top 15 pick this year. There is some guys that we are interested in. That could potentially join the big leagues in a year or two. Tally Jacobson. Some Swedish studs. And guy from the queue. See if he could be a potential... Steel, Kenny Barnes, Mr. Barnes, possible third round pick. We did get quite a bit of third round picks. I think we have three or four in this draft, so we'll try and find a way to get a diamond in the rough here. Peter Lindgren, that wouldn't be bad. Jonah Wilcox, give him a shot, see what he can turn into. Tumo Hamalainen. Some fins on here on this draft class look promising as well. Uh, Tim Smostowitz. Probably butchered that name, but what a name it is. See if he could be a steal. Ooh, Ludwig Eriksson. Sergei Markov. Be one of the late draft Russians. No points in 18 games, though. That's a little worrying. You got Nikolai Breeling, Serge O'Day, or Sergei Audit. Either way. Maxime Brodeau. See if he's going to be available in Forcer. Going to be tough to play against. Jacob Skula. Some late round picks here that seem promising. Second round defenseman. Guy Bouillon. Ryan Baumgartner. Colin Terry. Power forward. Only 5'11". Uh, not much of a power forward if you're 5'11", but hey. He plays better than he is, apparently. 
Pierre Dumas, six foot four defenseman. Could turn into something in the third, fourth round. Robert Helmerson's already a top six pick. John Bluin. All right, there are some players here that look promising in this draft class, so definitely getting some extra draft picks is going to help. Patrick Laine, he's looking like he's having his best season as an Eagle. So we're going to send ahead here and see how the Eagles play out. Hopefully injuries don't affect us too much here. As they have through the whole entire franchise series so far. But 29-33 now, the Eagles. Oof, man oh man. J just watch, they're going to want a major win streak now. Boatwist, he's out till the 29th. Okay, come on. Oh, we don't want back-to-back -back wins. Come on, what's going on here? Three in a row. Of course. Of course, of course, of course. And that's a... What is this streak? Finally, you lost to Dallas there. And all of a sudden, we're two games below 500. Ow. Patrick Line, 44 goals. Our first 40 goal store, Bo Wood, 25. McTavish, 24. Krabs, only 9 goals this year. Reinhardt, 55 points. Lindstrom, 37. Definitely not the rookie year we thought he was going to have for us. Definitely disappointing. Goalies, just atrocious. Dustin Wolf. Oh, man. This is ugly. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Okay, let's see my head here. I went in the overtime loss. Come on, let's lose some points. That's back-to-back -back wins. What is going on? When we want to lose, we win. All right, and now we catch him make the playoffs all of a sudden. Oh, man, this is nuts. We're in one of the final playoff spots. Comes down to the last two games. No, it doesn't anymore. We're officially knocked out. We're going to just miss. Oh, man, that last loss knocked us out, apparently. Rough. All right, one of the last home games of the year. First St. Louis. Oh, oh, we're not looking good. Not looking good indeed. Dustin Wolf. Don't know what to tell you about this guy. Like We had all the high hopes in the world. We do have the young Swedish goalie back there, so we're hoping he can turn into a stud. But Dustin Wolf, I think his days are done. Sam Dickinson. Definitely have our eyes on him, seeing if we can try and find a way to get him on an Eagle roster. Michael gets a four goal performance here today. Solid, solid, solid. We'll take it. Not complaining about that. But Michael has himself a heck of a day on the fourth line. Man, Dustin Wolf got lit up hard. I don't know what we're going to do. If we're going to trade him or just keep him as a 1A, 2A option if we find a goalie. But... See if the Eagles can get to 500 with their new interim head coach versus the Sharks. Still have not turned things around in San Jose. And uh, Patrick Line, he's going for 50. Come on, Line, reach 50 now. Oh, he's got a hat trick. He's almost there. That's 49. Hey, come on now. You can do it. San Jose's goalies can't stop you. Wish it, want it, do it. Come on. Road to 50 now. We believe. We think we can. We think we can. We think we can. Come on. Gotta will it. Oh, and Primo on catching in. So we get five goals in the final game of the regular season. Would have been nice to see the offense do more of that this year. Especially with the squad they got. But for whatever reason, it's just not clicking. And Line A finishes one short of 50 on the year. 49, but that is a Salt Lake City Eagle record for most goals in a year, so give it up for Patrick Line. Give him some love down below in the comments. He's earning that $9 million a year. Yes. As he gets 79 points, Krabs gets 65, plays Playmaker. With Tavish, 63. Bo Wood, 62. Reinhardt with 60. Lindstrom, 41. Borsling, 36, led the deep man in points. Miller, I don't know what we're going to do with him. We expect more out of you. And Dustin Wolf with the goals against average over four this year. Oh man, he is ridiculously bad. 
Uh, it's tough to be a goalie at six foot tall, though. You need a tall goalie in the league. And it looks like Buffalo is your president's trophy winners. Who's going to be last place? Buffalo just killed it this year. Minnesota, they finished dead last. Ottawa, Anaheim, Calgary, Winnipeg, San Jose, Arizona, and Montreal all on the bottom. So let's see who wins the draft lottery. Austin Matthews leads the league in points. Dreisaitl 104, Skinner 98, Panarin 98, McDavid 98, Svechnikov 97, Vucinevich, Pasternak, Thompson. Scoring definitely went down this year. Lead-wise, Connor Bedard 94 points. He's just going to freaking tear up the lead. Just wait until he starts winning Art Ross trophies. My goodness, he's scary. Goalies, you got Jeremy Swayman, of course. We trade him, and all of a sudden, he's a stud in Chicago. Spencer Knights, Jake Ettinger, Thatcher Demko, Vanacek, Shesterkin, Jari, Sorokin, Samsonov, the Russians, still top of the leagues and goalies. Maybe we try and go after a Sorokin type goalie for us, try and make that extra push, but we'll see what the cost will be in the offseason. As we look at the Stanley Cup brackets here, and we will see who's going to be a Stanley Cup champion next episode. As our AHL squad, we're going to follow and see how they do in the playoffs, see if they can win another Calder Cup. But, till next time people, we will see what the Bulldogs can do, as at least they're enjoying some success. Bye for now everybody, and peace!